beans. Today I'm going to show you my kitchen. Um, this is the updated kitchen tour. It's taken me a little while because honestly, we are always working in the kitchen, so it's never super tidy. And there's probably going to be a crazy echo in this video. So if you're listening to the intro and it sounds awful, I'm so sorry, but we're missing carpet still. So there's just like a lot of echo in this room. It's a really um, big open space, which is amazing for lighting, not so much sound. Um, so let me show you everything in the kitchen and I will try and link as many things as possible in the description box below. I'm also gonna put my home blog post link down below as well and that will just be like a one pager with links to everything and um, make it a little bit easier for you hopefully if there's something that you see that you like. Okay, we cleaned the kitchen so it doesn't always look like this but since it looks really good, this is how it looks. We have um, these bar stools which I think I showed in my living room tour. Normally I just kind of move them out of the way. Um, but yeah, we don't use them all too much. They're just nice because they add a little pop of color. And then this guy, my stand mixer is not usually up here. It's actually downstairs. I'll show you our secret storage closet. Um, we just have way too much kitchen stuff to fit <laughs> in all of these cabinets. But this is the kitchen. This is where all of the magic happens. And it was the first thing we set up in the house because uh, we needed to use everything to be able to film, of course. So we have my pink toaster. You probably recognize this from my last apartment. This also goes in the cabinet, um, unless we're using it to toast something. And then we have a essential oil diffuser, some utensils. This is also from my last apartment. And then we have, of course, the range and the oven. On this side, we have all of our garlic, onion, lots of shallots, and then a bunch of potatoes and like root veggies here. We have a cute little salt container. I think this is from Goodies. And then we have two kinds of oil here. And then my salt and pepper grinders. These were like such a silly purchase, but it made me feel like a real home blogger, you know? In the drawers, we have utensils. These are not organized, but <laughs> utensils, straws, and then like prop utensils. This drawer has a bunch of our spices. This is very satisfying to me because we labeled them and we put like our most used spices in here. We have more in the cabinet and more downstairs, but this is just like stuff we reach for all the time. Okay, and then down here is just some extra sauces. These are like condiments and sauces that we use the most. So like we've got nutritional yeast and coconut aminos and gluten-free soy sauce and sesame oil, things like that. On this side, I actually don't even know what's in here. Oh, we just have like, <laughs> random excess tools and then just like containers for you know small amounts of food and things like that and lids and then here we have a lot of the dishes because most of our dishes are stored on that shelf but this is like basically my overflow extra plates bowls and like just ceramic things <laughs> i have streamlined a lot but i still have just way too much for a regular a regular cabinet situation over here, here we have glasses, drinking glasses. A lot of the stuff is in the dishwasher right now, but just, you know, things that we use a lot. On this side, this side is really messy, so I'm just not gonna show you. It's just like nut butters and <laughs> snacks and pasta. It, it makes no sense, but just stuff. Then we have a microwave. We have the fridge, of course. The fridge is pretty big and it's got a separate freezer, which I really like. I think that's important. We always have a lot of food. I'll show you what's in the fridge, but just a warning, not everything is vegan because <laughs> I live with a non-vegan partner. Um, so we have lots of fruit, bagels, cabbage. We don't have a super full fridge right now because we just came back from New York, but um, got some projects that we're working on right here. And then we usually separate it by fruits, veggies, and just like whatever else. Yeah, uh, we almost always have a bunch of sparkling waters of some kind and then we have like our sauces here and then some vegan cheese and vegan butter here. So on the other side, this is under the island, we have this drawer which is like knives and all that good stuff. This drawer which is more just like extra tools that we use all the time, measuring cups, some electronics, um, <laughs> lemon juicers, can openers, you know. And then underneath that cabinet, we have um, a lot of our appliances and just like bigger bowls and things. So we have um, 
two Vitamix blenders. This is the Vitamix One, which is like the more affordable model. It's a little bit smaller, so we use that more often. And then the one in the back, which is the Ascent series. And that's my blender from my old apartment as well. Um, and then we have just like salad spinner, mixing bowls, um, lots of trays. And then we have our caraway pans in there and just like baking trays. Um, under the sink, we keep a lot of our cleaning supplies. It's kind of a mess right now, so I will just spare you. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the dishwasher. So this is a bigger one than my last apartment, which is really nice. Um, yeah, we, I would say we're like 50-50 between hand washing, but it is really nice sometimes to just like be able to do a very big load at once. This is the most exciting new addition to the kitchen. So we have this um, <laughs> sensor trash can from Simple Human, and then we just got the attachment for compost. So you can take this off and then put it on the countertop and then you just like throw your compost in here. It's got a compostable liner um, and it just attaches onto the side of the trash can so you can separate this. So we have compost, regular trash, and then recycling on the other side. So I love this trash can, it's so handy. Also have this container full of stasher bags. These are my favorite for storage. So instead of Ziploc bags, we always use stashers and they're dishwasher safe, which is amazing. Um, so this is a really great way that we're able to reduce waste. And they go in the freezer, the fridge, you can even cook in them. Um, yeah, I love them so much. And this is my little, my growing collection. <laughs> Over here, I've already showed you, this is the uh, water filter. And then also just like our most used ceramics, but this is the coffee slash non-alcoholic drink area which i didn't show you last time because it wasn't set up yet we just have like some coffee things or coffee and tea things um hot water kettle frother and this is just like a bowl of shallots <laughs> and then we have um a baby plant this candle my friend danny gave me it smells really good and this is one of my favorite non-alcoholic spirits this will be really fun for making non-alcoholic drinks with neither of us drinks so yeah um this is the center area it's pretty much all tea behind the cups. And then these are our reusable mugs that we use when we go to cafes, um, just a reusable tumbler. And then this is uh, white wine, but it's just for cooking. Uh, like I said, neither of us drinks, so this is really just for cooking purposes. We have sparkling apple juice, <laughs> very sober of us. And then vodka, which I've had for, I wanna say like years now. Um, again, we don't drink it. This is just for like, you know, vodka sauce, pasta or whatever, it just, it just sits there. <laughs> um, over here we have like the salad and mixing bowl that I use all the time. I think in that container is like electronics, I wanna say. And then in here, we have extra spices that didn't fit in the other cabinet. So um, things we use more, but not every single day. And then up here, more mugs because I have a mug problem. So that is our <laughs> non-alcoholic drink and coffee station. We keep our aprons here. So we just hang them on the wall. I have one and Brandon has like probably 50. Um, I actually don't even really wear an apron very often, but I have one, so um, there it is. Okay, now we're gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna show you our secret closet, which is full of extra stuff. We actually have two storage areas in addition to the kitchen. I'm gonna show you one of them because one is a mess. <laughs> so let me show you more stuff. Okay, welcome to the spare bedroom slash office slash guest room. Um, this closet is full of our extra stuff. So we have two food bloggers in the house. What do you expect? We just have a lot of equipment. This is like extra things that we both had something of. So for example, we've both had Vitamix blenders and we just use one of them because we don't need to use all of them at the same time. We have another set of caraway pans here um, in a different color. And then some bigger tools over here. We have the ice cream maker here and then some containers. We actually have a lot of containers. So down here, all the stasher bags and plastic free containers so we can try our best to reduce waste. Yeah, down here more containers and then a pot for a Japanese hot pot. We have Brandon's stand mixer and mine usually lives down here too. And then a bunch of tripods and then also random skateboard. And then on this side, we've got like extra gas for the torch, um, a brazier, we have like a zoodler, we've got extra pots and pans, extra blender, just extra everything. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff basically, but you know, it's our job, so. <laughs> oh, and also every single drawer is full as well. So yeah, 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed the kitchen tour. I think I've just about shown you everything in the house now. I do wanna do like a little house plant tour. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna put that in this video or in another one, but I do wanna show you guys the plants and I'm still kind of trying to figure out where to put them. Once I have that figured out, I will definitely do a little video. And then of course my most up-to-date updates <laughs> are on my house account, which is at House of Beans. I'll put the handle on the screen. Um, and yeah, if you're looking for links to anything, that will all be in the description box below. Let me know what you think of the kitchen, if you have any recommendations. Um, I love the kitchen. I think it's so bright and beautiful and um, it's just so much more space, which makes our job a lot easier. So I love it. I hope you love it too. And I will see you in the